The New Jersey Devils got a goalie, but is it too little too late? Trey Matthews of Locked On Devils is here to talk about that next on Locked On's 2024 NHL Trade Deadline Special. The Locked On Podcast Network presents the NHL Trade Deadline. Gil Martin here from Locked On NHL. The New Jersey Devils have been rumored to be on the hunt for a goaltender all season long, and they've made a move for one ahead of the NHL trade deadline, though maybe not the big splash that some people expected. Jake Allen heading for Montreal with a 50% salary retained in exchange for a conditional third-round pick. The great Trey Matthews of Locked On Devils is here to break down the deal. And Trey, your initial reaction to this trade? Well, I think this trade is mostly to save face for the New Jersey Devils because everyone has been pushing for Tom Fitzgerald, the general manager, to trade for a goalie. Obviously, it seems like uh, the Devils were trying to do all they could do to get Jacob Markstrom from the Calgary Flames. Unfortunately, it didn't come into fruition. And then after Tyler Toffoli was dealt to the Winnipeg Jets, it was a question as to whether or not would the Devils make one final push to get a goalie and they get Jake Allen. Now, I know on paper, Jake Allen's stats aren't really the best, but the thing is that 50% of his contract is retained, like you said. So this allows them some wiggle room to work with going into the summer to maybe get their number one option because um, I, I liked how Montreal is helping out the Devils in this case. We'll see what happens. But for the time being, this doesn't really move the needle for Devils more ways than one. It's just a safe face and then uh, put – Markstrom or another big name goalie on the back burner until summertime. So for the rest of this season, I mean, is Jake Allen going to be the number one goalie or do you think he's going to be in a fight for that spot? Well, if he is in, a, in for a fight, it's not really going to be all that hard of a fight because <laughs> uh, the Devils have been relying a lot on some young goalies, including Nico Dawes and also Akira Schmidt. Vitek Vancek is still out with his uh, respective injury. So for the time being, it's just like Nico Dawes, he's shown flashes of brilliance, especially in that uh, outdoor game at, at Life Stadium. And um, he's shown potential, but my fear is that the Devils might overwork him and it might be the same situation that they had with Corey Schneider years back and also Mackenzie Blackwood. And uh, for Akira Schmidt, uh, just a fall from grace compared to last year. I know he's starting to improve a little bit, but still a little on the fence about him. And then when looking at uh, Vitek Banchek, it's just like, I don't know what else to expect from him because he's been out for a while, which uh, leads me to believe that his injury is a little bit more serious. But if Jake Allen is in for a fight for that starting net minor position, like I said, it's not going to be that tough of a fight. You, you mentioned the possibility of acquiring a, a goalie over the summer. Uh, what do you think the Devils would be looking for and who are some of the players who might fit that bill? You know what? They've been in this discussion for months now. I, I've talked about it on my show. It Could it be Jacob Markstrom? Could it be John Gibson? Uh, could it be Elvis Merce Lincoln? So we, we don't really know. That's the thing. But it seems like the Jacob Markstrom one, according to a lot of reports, it seems like the Devils were always one of those teams trying their best to pursue Markstrom. But the thing is, is like the, the cards are in Calgary's hands in this case because he's in his mid-30s. He has a few years left on his contract. And Good goaltending is very hard to come by, and you're going to have to sacrifice, and that's the thing, which is what are the Devils willing to give up in order to get Markstrom, and does it make them title contenders? That's the big question. Since he has a few years left on his contract, and you're going to have to give up a decent amount, most likely, do you see yourself hoisting up the Stanley Cup within the next couple years? Because what if you trade away Alexander Holtz? Holt can give you 10 plus good years of good, um, good service. But Markstrom, he can only give you a few years tops because he's getting older. That's my question to the Devils, which is like, if you're going to trade for Markstrom, that's fine. But you got to look at trades as an investment. That's the thing. All right. A long term outlook here from Trey Matthews for more on the Devils and their moves at the deadline. Tune in to Locked On New Jersey Devils for free on your favorite podcast apps and on YouTube. It's all part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day.